Now we're going to talk about the Revelation 3, how to mount a camera to a Revelation 3. Uh, for this exercise, we will use the Minivid Wi-Fi camera, which is a C-mount threaded camera. This is a trinocular Revelation 3. Some people purchase a binocular. There's no trinocular port. But as you notice, we'll use the trinocular. That is always the best option for mounting a camera. When you buy a Revelation 3, your trinocular will come with two pipes. This is called a C-mount threading. That is the most common way to mount a camera. And we also have an iTube top, which you'll see it accommodates an eyepiece. So again, the most common, the best way to mount a camera to a microscope is with your C-mount threading. So we're gonna attach this pipe to the trinocular port. Threads on, that's tight. Notice I can remove the threaded C-mount here and let's put it onto the camera. So we can thread this on and it's pretty easy. This camera is now mounted and we can tighten it up. Now, after you've mounted your camera and you've loaded your app or your software and you're viewing images, um, it should be live, you should be able to get light up. There is no trinocular uh, pull knob here like there are on some microscopes. So basically this trinocular head is all three live, meaning lights coming up to the camera, lights coming out to both eyepieces all the time. So if I focus on my slide and I pick something just very specific, like one blood cell, and look through here and make sure you're in focus here. Now as we look at our iPad or phone, we're gonna see this blood cell. We want it to be in focus at the same time. So again, focus with your focus knobs. You're going to focus on that blood cell, then look at your screen, raise the camera a little bit as you're watching the screen. And when you see that blood cell is in focus at the same time, lock it down. So we have just done a, the word is parfocal. We have just adjusted the height of the camera so that the image on your screen is parfocal with the image that you see through the eyepieces. That's an important thing. You'll be much happier with your microscope if you're looking in and everybody else sees everything in focus at the same time. Now, let's talk about another way to mount the camera. This is our optical eye tube adapter. It's a 23 millimeter, like an eyepiece on this side and a C mount on this side. So again, I can mount this to my camera. And if I change my top pipe, to my iTube pipe, let's put this on, then I can drop this optical iTube adapter in just like an eyepiece. So that is mounted. Uh, you may wonder why would you do that? Um, this optical adapter has reduction lenses, it has actually 0.5 reduction lenses inside, so it's going to give you a better field of view on your screen a little closer to what you see here. A camera screen image will never be 100% field of view as what you see here. Um, this will help give you a much broader field of view, let's say 60 or 70% of what you see through the eyepieces. So that is an option. That is one way to mount your camera. Um, just remember this optical adapter is an optional piece uh, that you may have to buy separately, um, but I do like the fact that it improves your field of view. Now if you have a binocular microscope, let's say any brand of microscope, and you're not in the market to buy a new trinocular microscope. Uh, we can still mount any of our cameras to your microscope. Most of them are gonna have a 23 millimeter eyepiece, and if you've got a binocular head, it's gonna be just as easy as this. Your camera goes right in, and you're viewing images. Now at this point, of course, you, you will have a little hard time looking into the microscope, but at this point, you would just use your video screen and focus from your screen. Um, again, this is a way to purchase a camera, add it to an existing microscope that may not be a trinocular. Um, again, if you're buying a package, buying a microscope and a camera, trinocular is the best option always. And with our microscopes, you're getting a C-mount option for mounting and you're getting an iTube option up top. Then your camera's up here permanently mounted, out of the way, and you've always got the ability 
to look into the microscope and have your images on the screen at the same time. So remember the parfocal issue is an, imp an important one with your C-mount. Uh, and that's how you mount a camera to the Revelation 3. Remember, all of our cameras will mount just like this because all of our cameras are C-mount cameras. So we can add optical adapters to them, we can thread mount them, we can put them into eyepieces. Whichever way suits you, we can make it happen.